DXYZ stock that is uh, Destiny Tech uh, 100. So we have uh, we know for sure that in this pre-market session of uh, today, the 10th of April, it is uh, down more than 20%. I want to believe it closed at 64%. So you do the math. It's around um, uh, yeah, uh, I would say uh, what would that be? Uh, more than 20%. I want to believe. So that's what's going on right now as things stand. You know, um, on this, this is the one minute chart. And uh, if you go down to its uh, five minute chart, you see a lot, a, a much uh, broader uh, picture of what's going on. You know, this is, uh, this is, uh, I want to believe this is where it closed yesterday. This is the level we're talking about around $64 or thereabout and has um, weakness has uh, continued to set in as things uh, stand right now. And um, let's see. Uh, this is it's a five minute chart. We has um, it has a primary demand line, which I think it has uh, broken away from. I think it, it's it's a ten period moving average, and it has broken away from that. And uh, I still stand right now as well on this five minute chart. It's just uh, um, right above uh, a certain Fibonacci. Um, projection and also right on its uh, Keltner uh, channel so uh, a break downwards uh, is expected you know retracements uh, towards um, towards a 47.22 is uh, expected 46.97 is uh, looks like a reality but at the same time on this five minute chart there are upper projections of uh, 51.63 that is uh, what is what is projected on its uh, 10 period moving average that's what is projected there and uh, just above that we have uh, 52.85 if you've been actually projection or resistance and all the way towards uh, 62 62.65 this is this is where actually closed yesterday 62.65 so when it closed yesterday when it reached okay yeah when it closed yesterday let's see 62 64 actually that's where it closed at yesterday 64 or thereabouts yeah that's yeah right around where it closed yesterday and uh yeah since that time it actually sp spiked further in the post market session and um i would say even reached um around what are we talking about here the stock is so highly volatile i know we here we, we can actually see we can actually see 177.99 this was yesterday after the market closed or rather just is it is it before the market closed what 117.99 i could be wrong about this you know what's 177.99 but uh, what we know for sure it has continued to am i looking at the wrong chart or something okay this is a five minute chart sorry okay well this is as of monday rather as of monday as of uh, monday yes it reached 100 monday day Monday the 8th of uh, April, it reached 117.99. You know, this is how volatile it has uh, been, 117.99. Uh, there are no projections to toss uh, those sort of levels at the moment now, no Fibonacci projections. Based on what we are using, there's nothing like that uh, to those sort of levels. And we have um, uh, downward projections. We have uh, 43, okay, below that we have uh, below uh, the bottom of on this uh, five minute chart based on what we can visibly see it could it could it may not it may it may not be at least below over the last trading session for this week that is the week that began on the 8th of uh, February or 8th of March so 8th of April the low is uh, 46.97 so below that low we have uh, uh, 40 the algos are recalculating or is it the chart is moving there yeah. One of those 45.26 is another support we have a 43.3 we have uh 40.85 we have uh 37.42 and all the way down to 27.87 so the fact that this all of these are present these projections are present uh, is a is an indication that the algos are actually uh, expecting it to retrace expecting it to retrace they don't it doesn't have it has much more downward projections than upper projections but all of these are just on the five minute chart you know so we can go further to look at the 15 minute chart and see what we have there okay on the 15 minute chart um yeah it, it's a different picture more upper projections 
we have um, even upper projections for its 10 period moving average all the way towards uh, uh, all the way towards 65.1 you can't uh, possibly see this projection here but um, it's uh, they're, they're just they're just quite tiny so but I uh, apologies for that 65.1 is uh, a projection that is expected at some point in this session as a matter of fact is expected in a few minutes that is what is you know projected there's no guarantee that that will be that will happen so what I'm giving you now is a very short term you know very short term uh, projection you know by the time you watch this you know you would have already elapsed you know but um uh the good thing about it is that um it, there are more upper projections here we have um above where it is right now if anything if it makes you happy uh 52.61 is what we're looking at right now we above that we have uh 56.52 and these projections go all the way towards uh 90.32 and uh, on this uh 15 minute chart do we have uh those highs of yeah, 117.99 yes it was printed here and that was um that was yesterday as a matter of fact it was yesterday the ninth that it actually printed not actually uh, today yesterday the ninth no not not, not exactly but yeah either it's actually i think it was actually on either, either of those is is that is, is it's either on the monday the eighth or tuesday the ninth that uh, those highs uh that high of uh, one or something was printed so then you know this the cycle then if you like you know on this on this uh, 15 minute chart or indeed even the five minute chart there's a cycle that's building up you know so this is it's a downward leg you know but um uh do we have a, let's have a look at the 55 45 minute chart and uh, see what's going on on the 45 minute chart do we have uh, that uh, 118.24 printed uh, possibly sometime on the this definitely printed on the on tuesday yesterday yeah so uh, down here there are no downward projections on its 45 minute chart we have uh, we have a 55.30 we have uh for seventy nine point five four but um they're all so so far apart which is which may be an indication that um um the the, the likelihood of them uh, uh turning out to be the case may may that they're not exactly very high you know we don't exactly have uh i'm digressing now i'm supposed to continue with uh giving you the projections but let's let me continue so nine point three zero and we have uh, 94.24 we have uh 106.48 we have uh we have here we have uh let's see 118.24 yes that's uh that rejection that we've seen in uh, most of its charts uh yeah 118.24 we have also here 100 and uh, uh let's see what's this 100 and uh let's see 100 and uh 100 and uh yeah we can't get it for some reason it's not uh allowing us this, this uh, there's a button there so what could that be that's a projection okay let's see something more than 130 dollars probably up to 140 or thereabout uh yeah and um on this uh we have projections here we have uh uh, 67.3 for today as well you know around uh, a few hours 27.37 for its uh, 10 period moving average so uh if you come to its a uh, one day chart on its daily chart this is what this is what you're going to see this is because uh the, the, this is a close end fund you know this is now more about um the company or, or rather the fund so uh dxyz is a fund you know the the, the tangible thing itself is a, is a fund and uh um what what does it seek to do it help it seeks to help uh investors who don't earn, earn up to uh two hundred thousand dollars in the last uh, 20 last uh, two years and uh who do not have or who do or those who don't have up to one million dollars in uh in a net uh net worth to invest in uh privately held companies so uh destiny 100 uh, destiny tech 100 currently owns uh shares of 23 privately held companies it's um six to eventually buy the stocks of uh, 20 of some cent more uh, companies so um let's see up here and we have um it says here uh let's see what uh, it has it's, it's holding 
It's a new close. Is a new closed end fund that began uh, trading on just uh, the twenty sixth of March, and let's see now. Among the funds, uh, most prominent holdings are uh, OpenAI, SpaceX, and uh, Stripe, and Fortnite, uh, Epic Games. So those are the sort of holdings it has, and uh, it has um, been of great interest to a lot of market participants. You know. Um, Yesterday, okay, yesterday it closed at 99.79, I want to believe. <coughs> yeah, yesterday, according to when this when this piece was written, let's see which 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 day it was. Uh, so yeah, I would say it's um um yesterday, maybe on Monday, yeah, you know, yeah, maybe on Monday, the eighth of uh, February, eighth of uh, April. So yeah, this is uh, what's going on right now. Um, um, we can only rely on its, uh, let's say, its 45-minute chart. Indeed, there are other projections on its um, hourly charts. Let's see. Let's see uh, whether we can have a look on its uh, four-hour chart. Okay, I think our best bet will be um, its 45-minute chart. I, I think that it will be our best bet. We just uh, stick to that uh, that chart. As things stand right now, since the stock hasn't uh, been trading for a very long time, 28, 28 of 26th of March will be how many sessions? You know, how many sessions that would that be? Um, I, I know the, the month began on the first, so 26th of March will be okay, one, two, three, three sessions, three, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 so far 10 to 11 uh, sessions so not a lot of, not, not not a lot of data and um, expect the stock to expect a consolidation a further pullback you know based on what we have on its uh, 45 minutes on its uh, five minute chart this is the sort of lows you should be expecting we should be expecting lows all the way towards uh, 27.87 you know it's just entered into the market you know and um, and has spiked in you know, spite all the way towards the uh, 118 um, a pullback a correction naturally is what you should expect yeah so um, just have a look it's um, gradually becoming a meme stock you know just you know how to you know just know how you're playing it and um, I'll definitely continue to update you okay thank you very much for watching this video